So we're going to take a couple of minutes and uh, talk about the Schedule C, how to uh, how to input it, what it is, how to navigate around it, and um, get you familiar with the layout in this platform. So first of all, uh, what is a Schedule C? Uh, according to the IRS, it's to report income or loss from a business you operated or a profession you practice as a sole proprietor. Any activity qualifies as a business if your primary pur purpose for engaging in the activity is for income or profit and you involved in the activity with continuity and regularity. So it's, uh, it's a primary source of your income where you do it, you made money at it, you do it regularly and uh, you need a method by which to report that income you're going to use the Schedule C. Now we obviously, most of us know that. So how do we get to that Schedule C? We've got one of three options. We can either on the 1040, just double click line 12. We can go up to our income menu and uh, what was it? Number six, I think is the option in the menu. Or we can just type in schedule over here and it pulls up a, a good handful of schedules for us. Uh, some of them I don't even know what they do. Uh, but the Schedule C, very familiar with. So I like to obviously work off of the 1040 as much as possible. So double click that line 12. I'm going to click New here. Now if this was a, uh, a returning client and you wanted to bring forward their prior year business activity, what you're going to do is you're going to click Pull or even if it's a converted client. So if you move over uh, to right way, from another tax software and your converted client data you want to pull all the Schedule C activities forward you click pull and let's say they got five Schedule C's you have a checkbox you click OK all of those Schedule C's will pull forward along with their assets so we'll show we'll talk about depreciation in another video but real quick we're going to add the Schedule C by clicking new a regular Schedule C we click OK and we're going to type in our description. In this case, we're just going to type in landscaper. Maybe if I spell it correctly. All right, let's click OK. That's all we had to do there. The business name, the EIN, if you don't have all that good stuff, you don't have to worry about it. It will automatically assume the taxpayer social is the, the identification number and their address is their home address. Just go ahead and click OK. If it was required information, it would tell you to come back to it or it would be highlighted in red. Very, very easy. And uh, it, the program will make sure that you enter in all of the required information. We're going to hit OK here. And then this is a summary of the information we've input thus far. You don't have to input a business code if you've input a description or vice versa. You put in the business code, it's going to populate the description. You don't have to put in the address. You just click exit and it's going to take us to our Schedule C questions talking about our accounting um, and 99% of the time unless you're dealing with clergy or pastors or ministers you don't really have to do too much in this page. It's um, filled out appropriately. So we're going to click exit here and then it takes us to our actual Schedule C or where we would enter in the income on a Schedule C or our expenses. So real quick just to familiarize ourselves with the IRS layout of the Schedule C we've got our top section who is it for, who, is, who are we identifying, what sort of business were they engaged in, the accounting so these are our questions here already populated for us and then we've got the two major sections, our income versus our expenses, and then the breakdown of, uh, of each of those categories down here to where we have a net profit or net loss. And uh, so what we've done is we've collapsed those columns. Again, over here on the left-hand side, arrows mean you can drill down or open up and expand those categories. Stars on the left mean uh, those are calculated, hard-coded fields. They're basically uh, sums of columns, totals, or in this case, owner of the Schedule C taxpayer. So I'm going to come in here to income. Uh, we've got our gross receipts for sale. If you click into gross receipts or sales, you can hit F10 and create a detailed statement or supporting notes. 
which uh, also acts as a, a nice calculator if you're putting in your uh, earnings for a particular month. So I'll just show you. Hit F10. Go ahead and hit new and type in June. We made five grand, 500. Uh, July, we made 1500. And in the future, oh, what's this for last year? Never mind, we're good. 1500 August and we click exit and it totals that up for us puts it right there on the line now right below that is form 1099 miscellaneous other programs it's a process of linking the 1099 miss to the uh, to the schedule C or to the other forms in this case we have it inside of each of the business activities so uh, if you're doing it on 1099 or on your 1040, you just add the 1099 miss right there, and it'll add to the 1040. If you're doing it to a or it belongs to a Schedule C, you go inside the Schedule C, the Schedule F. Um, you're going to go inside those activities. So I'm going to click Form 1099 miss. Looks just like what we're familiar with. Click Payer. Just double click on it. We're going to go to Non-Employee Comp here. Put in our 1500 bucks. Go ahead and hit enter and enter one more time. And there it adds our 1500 bucks right to our grand total. And we're going to skip over the rest of these. We're all very familiar with these others. So I'm going to hit exit. Right below that, we have our expenses. So here's our IRS form advertising, legal, blah, blah, blah. We go into the program, click on expenses. And we've got advertising, legal, and blah, blah. So very, very easy to do. You click on or hit number one, hit enter, put in the 250, go to number two, car and truck. You can do your mileage right here. Very, very simple to do mileage. I went into option number two. I'm going to select option number one, standard mileage rate to be applied. And 0101 of 14. And we drove it uh, 2014 miles, 204, and no personal miles. Click OK. Fills it out for us, answers the questions, and we click Exit. Exit. And it carries those, that, uh, that expense right over to the line for me. So we still got 3600 here in reported income. We've got some legal services, had some contracts drawn up rent of property and we'll call that good so from here I'm just going to exit exit and it'll take me back to my 1040 and another thing sorry I'm going to go back into that schedule C if you wanted to see the result of that schedule C so let's say we're in here right if you hover over this view form and you want to see it actually populate the information you had there, you can click on view form and it's going to then uh, carry all the totals over. So if you want to see it actually populate rather than just carry over the net profit or loss to the line 12 on the 1040, you can click view form and see the 1862 there. So I'm going to go and we'll look at that 1862 on line 12. And there it has carried over appropriately. Good deal. So that is just a quick overview of how to input Schedule C, what it's for, how to access it. Um, we will also have another video talking about depreci depreciation. Um, so keep watching. Thank you very much. And uh,